No No Risk Foundation Center for Biosustainability at the Technical University of Denmark. We aim at producing biochemicals, enzymes and therapeutic proteins in living cell factories. I'm heading a small research team where we focus on producing proteins in bacteria and on studying bacterial evolution. So here's an example of a bacterial evolution experiment where bacterial colonies are unable to grow on the carbon source that we provided in this medium. But after a few days they mutate and they turn into these bigger growing colonies and turn red. So they've mutated and have new properties that are interesting for us to exploit. The reason we are studying evolution in bacteria is that nature has built-in programs to try and avoid and mutate so that they stop producing these compounds. When we actually understand these mechanisms, we can avoid the bacteria to stop producing these proteins or compounds that we're interested in. One of the tricks that we are trying to develop in my lab is to couple the production of a compound of interest to a selectable trait, so that can be, for example, resistance to an antibiotic. So if we try and force bacteria to produce a certain enzyme, we at the same time produce an enzyme that breaks down an antibiotic. In that case, what we can do is that we can plate our bacteria on a high concentration antibiotic, and if it's very good at producing our enzyme of interest, it will also survive on these plates. Here's an example where bacteria are actually producing fluorescent proteins. So we can basically look and pick up bacteria that are shining more yellow light than others. 